Hi guys, my name is Daniel and in today's lesson we're going to learn how to install Mac scripts and plugins. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so when you first uh, start to install and play with scripts in 3ds Max, you're going to find that most scripts end in either MZP, MS or MCR and usually plugins end with DLM. So the, they usually have different ways of installing these types of scripts. For example, MZP is a script that usually you go to script, run script, and MS, you could either run it or you can just drop it into your viewport. MCR is also through run and DLM plugins usually go into the root folder of your Max installation directly. So C, Autodesk, 3ds Max and plugins. Okay, so let's have a look how that works in practice. So we're going to try and run a MZP script, which is a regularized script, which is something that I have prepared over here we have a box and it's got sections and sometimes it's uh, quite difficult to create a circle inside of these quads so how could we do that we could actually go to our scripts over here and we're going to go to regularize edge loop and so we're going to go to scripting run script because it's an mzp script as you can see over here and this is the type that you run click on it and you click open and that is going to run it in the background and i know because i've been on the site of the creators of these uh, of this specific script and this script usually pops up in your drop down menu when you right click but you need to first go to editable poly you're going to select your polygon and you're going to right click and this is going to give you in the drop down menu regularize and that's going to give you a circle that you can afterwards you can turbo smooth and that kind of stuff or for example if we go to extrude you could extrude that you could even do these on on edges so you could just right click regularize and then extrude so this script usually you need to run mzp we run these types of scripts okay next thing we can do is going to be an ms script so this type of script you could either run it or you can just drag and drop it into your uh, viewport so we are going to go to our folder and we are going to go to this one and if you're not sure what it is you can always click on just properties and details and this is going to show you it's a dot ms so we are going to take this one and we're just going to click and drag it into the viewport and that activates our a script and this is quite a cool script for when you're doing images it just creates the rule of thirds or diagonals golden ratio golden ratio spiral it's quite useful so so that is ms and that is a run or drag and drop just to show you also from scripting you can go run script up on there and we go to image comp helper they open and it also works that way so that's drag drop and run next one we have the mcr and for that one we are going to also run so we are going to for that one we are going to do a different way but we are going to first install it so we are going to go to scripting run script up here and for this example we have dwg cleaner so we're going to click here and we're going to go to open 
and this script we need to go to um, customize customize user interface then we are going to go to toolbars and we'll go down in category we're going to find that script and it's over here all Zark tools we're going to click on it and we have clean dwg i already have what mine put in here but the cool thing is that you can just take this and you can drag and drop it into your tool into your toolbar over here and that way you can run it each time by just clicking on it from here okay so just to show you an example of what this script actually does we are going to import a plan okay there we go so we have this plan over here the stuff i'm just going to delete that because we don't need it but for example if we click H and we have a look what's in here, we're going to have all of these blocks that are in a hierarchy. And if you've ever worked in any architectural visualization, that's definitely not what you want in your file. So all you need to do is select all of that, click on the script over here, name it, for example, DWG underscore zero zero. Zero, zero plan and this is going to flatten it it's going to group it and it's going to remove empty layers so we are not going to group it for the moment we're just going to flatten and clean empty layers so we're going to click start and over here you can see the script is running okay and now you can see that it's removed all those black parts, which is geometry, which we don't want. Now, if we go back to H, we have only layers and we don't have any of those blocks left. So what you can do now is you can literally just select this, go to spline, attach multiple, select all, click attach. Close that, click H again and you have one layer, one nice clean layer that's ready to be built on. So that is the MCR script that you need to run. Then you go into customize, customize user interface, and you can just drag and drop it in here. And then every time you open Max, it will be there. This is an extremely useful script and I would highly suggest you use it. And then, so that, essentially it for scripts and then there's also uh, DLM files which are usually plugin files so if you do find yourself with a DLM file for example I'm going to show you an example over here Greeble so we have this Greeble plugin DLM you're going to copy that and that's going to go into your uh, program files, Autodesk, 3ds Max, and plugins. You're just going to drop that into there. It's going to click continue. Yes. We might not see it now. We might have to restart Max, but we're just going to have a look for the moment. And we're just going to check. Uh, let me just have a look if there's, just create a box here. And go to modifiers going to have a look if Greeble is over here. So it looks like we are going to need to just open Max one more time. So I'm going to just minimize this. Okay. And now if we just click in the viewport, okay, we're still waiting. Okay, and now if we go down to the modifiers list, let's just create a box here. And we go down to the modifiers list. We find Greeble over here. And this is quite a cool plugin. It's free. And what this does, it creates almost like sci-fi type geometry on stuff. So I used it once for a, a, like a stone wall and uh, just to show you a little bit of 
what you can do with this thing. We'll play with the density and its materials, stuff like that. You can really start to come up with some nice creative things with this. Okay guys, so those were the three ways of installing Mac scripts and plugins. I hope that helped you. And if it did help you, please consider subscribing. Thanks and have a good day. Ciao, bye.